Hello guys and welcome to my channel. This is the first video of AWS certification series where I will be discussing different certification bundles offered by AWS. As you may know, AWS offers four certification bundles, which is foundational, associate, professional and speciality. AWS doesn't have a specific certification path on the contrary to CompTIA and that's why it's important for you to understand the different certification types offered by AWS before you can actually commit to preparing to one of them. As you may know, I have already passed the AWS Cloud Practitioner certification. I will add the video link somewhere here or here so that you can watch it if need be. And on this, in this video, I want to focus on the next certification level offered by AWS, which is the associate certification level. This certification level includes three different certifications. I will make sure that you see them on the screen at the moment. And these are Solutions Architect, Developer and SysOps Administrator. This is the second layer of AWS certification layer, certification bundles. And this layer should be preferred by those who already have IT experience, but not necessarily in the cloud. For example, you're working as a help desk specialist or IT support or anything else. Your job is not directly related to the cloud, but you may be working on premises, on Windows OS or Linux OS or anything else. So basically you do have IT exposure. Alternatively, you may have um, you may have the background with CompTIA certifications, like academic background, before you commit to these certifications, and that's perfectly enough to pass those certifications and start preparing for them. It might be hard for you if you start preparing for them from zero level without any previous exposure to IT, any previous exposure in terms of, both in terms of experience and in terms of knowledge. That's why it's better if you have some experience. But remember that if you if you are determined to pass associate level certification of AWS and don't have any experience or exposure, previous exposure to IT or to the cloud, I don't think it's impossible. I think everything is possible with correct preparation, correct time management and correct resources that you put into the certification preparation. All three certifications cost $150 to pass and all three of them have 65 questions in them for you to answer, both multiple choice or multiple response. Like if it's multiple choice, you've got one correct answer for the question. For example, you are asked the question, you have A, B, C, D and one correct answer or you've got a question and you have to tick several correct answers. Sometimes they do say that there are two correct answers, select two that apply or select three that apply, but they might not actually provide you with the number of correct answers in each certificate, in each question. So you have to sort of know how many correct answers there are for the question. To speak more to speak in a more detailed way about the certifications, let's start from Solutions Architect. Who needs to pass this certification? To start with, you should be able to understand where you are going in terms of your career. First thing, your employer might ask you to, pa to pass this certification, then yes, okay, you're going for, you already know what certification you should pass because this is the requirement that comes from your employer. Second, you need to understand, if it's not your employer, you need to understand your career aspirations where you see yourself in a year, in two years. There is no need to go too far, like five years, 10 years, because actually AWS certifications are only valid for two years. So you need to understand in terms of career where you see yourself and in terms of the certifications where you see yourself. For example, you pass this certification. Where do you see yourself next? What certification do you see yourself passing next? These are important questions to ponder upon for you before you choose the correct one. So Solutions Architect certification is for those who 
are preparing themselves to work in IT infrastructure, in cloud infrastructure. Because basically what Solutions Architect does is that he puts together different cloud instances, different cloud services, so that this infrastructure can work. To provide a more simple example, imagine a mom of five kids and she puts together different childcare services so that she can uh, work full time at the same time. One child goes to school, second child goes to primary school, then second child goes to secondary school, and child number three goes to nursery, child number four go goes to childminder, and etc. etc. The same is with the cloud. You've got a company and the company needs to optimize its operations along with having secure operations and obviously cost effective. So you got to think and put together a logical infrastructure, cloud infrastructure for the company. So cloud, for example, has different availability zones and your, your company is located in the US. Would, the, would it um, really be necessary for you to have availability zones, instances in availability zones that are outside or far from US? No and you are putting together different cloud services. You are always on the lookout of innovations in the cloud. For example, AWS is not only the instances that companies can put their data on or archives on, it offers much more services such as API calls, developer-related tools and etc. And as a solutions architect, you need to understand what the company's needs and match them with the offerings that cloud is providing. At the same time, ensuring that there is a secure, there is security present and cost effectiveness. Based on your company, of course, you might look for other important factors as well. For example, some companies prefer, well, may prefer to have um, low net network latency. Other companies may prefer to have something else, but normally, most commonly, it's security and cost effectiveness. Knowledge of these skills will lead your career into solutions engineer, solutions architect path, especially on the cloud, obviously, if you're planning to pass the AWS solutions architect certification associate level. Don't forget that there is solutions architect professional level, which we'll talk about in the next video. The next certification in associate bundle is certified developer. Well, for to pass this certification, the experience that you should have is a bit similar to solutions architect. You should have some sort of exposure to IT and obviously you should have some sort of exposure to developing to programming languages and experience in cloud services or AWS technology is a big plus for you to be able to comprehend this certification better. This certification is one of those that require in-depth knowledge of one of the programming languages. It doesn't mean that you should be able to build the front-end and back-end website or put together very complex version control systems and etc. But obviously you should be able to use one of the programming languages, preferably object-oriented programming languages, to be able to correct and build the cloud infrastructure. So solid previous knowledge of one of the programming languages is a big advantage and almost the decisive factor of passing this certification. The developer certification is for those who are working as developers, sorry, who are developers, they have or they have interest in programming, interest in programming languages, but at the same time they have interest in becoming, they are interested in becoming cloud engineer. What they will achieve by passing this certification? AWS certified developer can use programming languages to manage the cloud infrastructure of AWS. For example, instead of going there, clicking this, clicking that, clicking those, clicking, uh, getting a new instance, getting this, getting that, they just put together scripts. They put together different sequences. They put together algorithms that and that they basically automate many of the tasks that cl cloud engineer or cloud administrator would do 
and they use programming language to make all of this easier, to make all of this faster. And AWS in developer certification introduces you to cloud services for developers. For example, API related programming services. Any other services offered by AWS can be managed by AWS certified developer. They can optimize the way the company works with development tools of AWS. And this can make a big difference for the companies that are programming or tech focused, especially for software developers of those companies, because it can both optimize the automation, optimize the provisioning of different services, say Kubernetes, Docker, orchestration or anything else and it can also save company a lot of money and time and these are very important factors in deploy continuous integration and continuous deployment of products for the companies the third certification that comes with aws bundle is aws csops administrator this is basically the system operations administrator of AWS platform platforms. So this is for those system administrators who are basically who, who see them, either see themselves as system administrators or are system administrators at the moment, but on premises. And in the future, they see themselves becoming system administrators on the cloud. Honestly, this is a very important certification for system administrators or system operators because many companies we hear it a lot but this is but that's the truth obviously many companies are switching to the cloud because they don't want to maintain on-premises infrastructure and very basic reasons that come that come with it that's why system administrators, in order to secure their jobs or in order to get better jobs, better job opportunities in the market, they can pass this certification and look for a better job or improve their employment opportunities, improve their career progression in the company where they are. And obviously they can start applying for jobs as cloud administrators, cloud engineers, and etc. So basically this certification prepares them to manage whatever is available in the cloud. In, on the contrary to solutions architect, you are not so, as a system operations administrator, you are not so involved into making decisions, logical decisions about the cloud, putting together the services, making the cloud match the company's needs, but you are more focused on managing of, of what already is there. So basically you're executor, you're executing of what's already there and you're managing it. I consider this a very important certification. As I said, either if you're system administrator at the moment on premises, or you're looking for better career opportunities, or you're not in the industry at all, but you want to make your first steps there and you see yourself as a system administrator in the future. But remember that this certification rather focuses on the cloud. So on administration and managing of the cloud. Don't mix it with, say, Linux administrator or Windows administrator, because this is the lower level and under lower, I don't mean worse or anything. Under lower, I mean Linux administrators or Windows administrators are more detailed. They're focused on specific OS, but cloud administrator, cloud system operator, he focuses on provisioning, correct man management of the clouds because certain instances can get out of memory, out of storage. You need to to be on the lookout of uh, cost provisioning system, on the lookout of licenses or any other softwares that are deployed on these clouds. That's why system administrator of the cloud is a bit more global and more bird view, say, on the system administration of the company's resources. But on the contrary to someone who works on premises, as an on-premise administrator, you're not dealing with infrastructure servers, with Ethernet cables, with switches, routers. So this everything goes to the cloud. You no longer have to deal with it. But along with that, you've got new responsibilities that come with the cloud. 
as the, and the ones that I basically listed for you just earlier where you have to be able to be on the lookout of the cloud instances, cloud services, so that they offer high availability and they, they are always ready to meet companies' needs. These were the three certifications offered in associate bundle of AWS. And at the end, I would like to mention that each certification page contains certification objectives, sample questions. Also, what I can see is free, uh, different free resources offered by AWS for each certification. If I were you, I would review or participate on webinars of all available free resources. Whether you go for something that you have to pay for or not, this is your decision, but certainly and most certainly take advantage of anything free that is offered for each certification. I will see you in the next video about professional certification bundle offered by AWS and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you want me to pass more certifications so that I can then talk with you about them, explain what I experienced on the certification and have a better idea of certifications, please subscribe to my channel so that the channel grows and I obviously have more resources and I am more motivated to invest into the channel and go further down the certification path. Thank you very much for your time and see you soon. Bye!